So people often ask, uh, what effect does what we see have over what we taste uh, and the flavour experiences we have? Uh, and I think what we see, especially colour, has a huge impact over taste and flavour perception. If you kind of think about it, you never really put something in your mouth without looking at it first. Uh, so every other time you see the food, you see its colour, and your brain immediately is kind of figure out what is it, do I like it, is it good for me, will it poison me or not? Um, and colour is probably the easiest to compute cue. And our brain seems to have learnt over experience that uh, certain colours of food kind of taste a certain way. Maybe it's uh, we learn that the more saturated the colour of food or the packaging which it, in which it comes generally goes along with a more intense uh, taste or flavour. Uh, we learn that pinky red things tend to taste sweet, that green things may be sourer uh, to taste, uh, and so it goes on. And normally our brain does a pretty good job of seeing a food, seeing its colour, Predict, predicting what the taste will be and then when we actually come to taste it our brain periodically says is it quite what I expected and if it's more or less the same then uh, you're fine. So if I colour something red you might be thinking of a, a red fruit, if I colour something yellow maybe you're thinking of lemon, orange colour, well you can guess the answer to that one uh, and so it goes on. So normally our brains are very good at predicting taste from colour. However if you go to a modernist restaurant, uh, if you find some of the products on the shelf in the supermarket there are people who are trying to deliberately kind of surprise us by making things look one way but actually taste of something else and that can be fun or terrible depending on your mindset and quite where you are and sort of famous examples of that uh, of late would be uh, uh, Jordi Rocker, a famous Spanish chef who has a completely white uh, sorbet but it tastes of dark dark chocolate uh, it's not at all what you're expecting when you saw a white thing or Heston Blumenthal has been famous for his beetroot and orange jelly which comes to the table bright orange uh, dark purple, the waiter tells you to start with a beetroot and everyone goes for the purple looking thing. Uh, in fact it's a golden beetroot and a blood red orange so the colours have been reversed naturally and that's kind of part of the fun or the trick uh, of uh, the dish.